What's so great is uh, Pixar has decided to go to a place that we spend our entire day in, but we've never seen, which is a, a mind, you know? Uh, we, we live inside our own minds, and we have no idea what it looks like. So Pixar is like, I'm gonna tell you what it looks like. This is what long-term memory looks like. This is, you know, abstract thought. This is imagination land. This is the place that uh, produces your dreams. And they just do this thing they do over and over again, which is like, here's a world, we're gonna build it. I mean, not since, to me, not since like Little Mermaid, where we were like, we're under the sea. Like, it was just like at every corner was this vibrant place. Um, yeah, that's what they did. Riley in the outside world is kind of uh, dealing with change. She has to move. She has a new house, a new school. And she's just doing that thing that kids do where they are kind of adapting and bucking up and just going through their day feeling a little bit out of control and um, trying to adapt. And inside, her emotions are just losing it. I mean, Joy, who's been in charge for most of Riley's life, is like literally losing her grasp on things. And Sadness, who for, as, as kind of like been like a bit player, you know, in Riley's life, like occasionally used, um, is getting these crazy urges to like be in charge. And so it then turns into like an adventure buddy comedy, Sadness and, and Joy, the Hope and Crosby of Pixar, gets sucked <laughs> up into this um, into this tube, and they have to find their way back. And in doing so, they learn about how feelings matter. I think what separates it is that it 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 challenges us to go deep and think big. It takes a really big conceptual idea and it makes it really beautiful and small and universal. I think that the actual art, like the color and animations, feel like really new to Pixar, like. The shapes and and the world feel. Uh, I, I'm not visual enough or artistic enough to express why they're different, but they are. Yeah. I think there's a lot of hard jokes and a lot of emotional stuff that they're not afraid to do, and it just. It's almost like they are not afraid of the minor key, and they just play it a lot in this film, so it feels like really fresh and exciting because of that. Here's my theory. I think, for the most part, really talented people are good collaborators because they don't, they aren't threatened by when, when is my next idea gonna come. Mm -hmm. And the collaboration that happens at Pixar, the group mind, the group think, the way that they're putting story first, the way that they won't release a film unless they think it's ready, the way that they, the amount of time they spend on something, the great minds behind it, the way everybody feels like connected, it's, it's truly original. And when yeah. you go up to their, their um, compound and <laughs> see how they work, and then just their faith in their creators. And, and Pete Docter is just a good human with a keen observational sense and, a, and, a, and a, just thinks these big ideas, you know? Amazing. I know that Pete said, and I mean, maybe he's told you, but he said when he pitched it you know, to, to John Lasseter, John was like, I love this idea. I don't know how you're going to do it, wow. right? Like, how do you do it? How do you do a movie about feelings? Like, uh, and how are those feelings the lead characters? And um, yeah, and so just to take on that challenge alone and to spend five years doing it is really, truly remarkable.